What's the difference between filtered water and distilled water? Filtered water is water that's gone through filters like these here. Uh, filters are dark, they're wet, they're room temperature. They actually become breeding ground for bacteria, virus, and parasites. And actually they don't take out inorganic minerals. Uh, reverse osmosis is a filter that has a sediment filter, a carbon filter, and also it has a membrane filter that does take out the minerals and it does that by back washing through the filter after it builds up pressure. It's very wasteful. It wastes about 2 to 12 gallons of water per gallon uh, and it's not effective unless you buy a very expensive uh, unit. Does reverse osmosis take all the chemicals out? Reverse osmosis takes out many of the chemicals because they have a carbon filter on them. But there's a lot of things reverse osmosis does not take out. Reverse osmosis leaves arsenic, bacterium, we know at least fluoride now, nitrates. And we know that 12 parts per, night, per million of nitrates causes blue baby syndrome. And also virus. It doesn't even remove any virus. Uh, sediment filters, they take out sediment. Carbon filters, they take out chlorine. They handle a little bit of detergent, a few pesticides and phosphates, also some sediment, and also sulfates. Deionization, it is, is good for a few more things. We get over here to reverse osmosis. Uh, reverse osmosis still leaves arsenic, bacterium. We know it doesn't take out all the fluorides now. It takes out some nitrates. It, it forgets to take out any virus. Steam distillation along with a post filter the carbon post filter takes out, out everything that's in the water. It significantly reduces every element in the water. So we come out with nothing but pure H2O. Steam distillation takes out arsenic, bacterium, cadmium, calcium, chloride, chlorine, cryptosporidium, detergents, fluorides, lead, magnesium, nitrates, organics, pesticides, phosphates, radon, sediment, sodium, sulfates and viruses. Uh, a small filter like this cartridge filter is effective on chlorine and that's about all it is effective for. Uh, cartridge filters, they're hard to replace, they grow biofilm. Over time the quality of water degrades in filters but in distillation the quality stays high. Even after hundreds of gallons have passed through a distiller, the quality of the water still is high. That's the problem with a filter. It's got a hole in it. If it's brand new, it might be working properly, but as it ages and as the, the volume of water goes through it, you don't know where you're at. You don't know what level of safety you're living in. We know that filters are wet and they're dark and they're room temperature and they uh, produce bacteria and virus and parasites. And if you, if you cut a filter open, it's full of slime, and that's called biofilm. That means there's bacterium in there growing. It's just like biofilm in our nose, we call it snot. And that's what gets in those filters, and we're drinking through it. Because the more filth you get into the filter, the dirtier it is. You have a failure in your filter, and you're drinking 10,000 times more than you would if you just had tap water. So filters aren't really that great. Yes. What can you tell us about bottled water? Bottled water, there's a lot of states don't have any regulations on bottled water at all. On a government study, 25% of all bottled water was just ordinary tap water. Put in a bottle, there's not very many regulations on it at all. I don't know which bottles that was or what brands they were, but I know that water in a bottle that's sitting on a shelf in a grocery store it can sit there for months on end. If it has any bacterium or virus or parasites in it, it can 10,000 times itself in the heat of the store, during shipping or whatever. They're not refrigerated. It's just not safe water. There's some brands that are very good. There's some that aren't, but you'll have to read on the label and find out for yourself which ones they are. Uh, a lot of people say, I want to buy uh, distilled water in a bottle in the store, in a milk bottle. Uh, they're leaching out uh, all kinds of chemicals out of that plastic.
during the process of making this plastic bottle, uh, it's made out of a lot of things like formaldehyde and other kinds of car carcinogenics that are linked to cancers of all kinds. And we see this on the news all the time about the, the safety of these bottles. They're not safe at all. They're unsafe. So you're just taking a risk by getting bottled water in a bottle. Plus, it's hundreds of times the price of ordinary tap water. Why spend uh, a dollar and a half for a liter of water? Because it's just ordinary tap water. It doesn't make any sense. When we started this show tonight, I told you, you're going to have to make a decision of what you're going to do the rest of your life with what you drink. And you've learned a lot of things about it water here tonight. Uh, distilled water is, is so clean that it doesn't make the open circuit close. But tap water is way different. What do you want in your body? What do you want to use in your body, in your machine? You get to stay in your machine as long as you keep it clean until you wear it out. If you're cleaning your body with, with distilled water, your machine will stay a lot cleaner than with tap water. There's a big difference. So you need to decide in your life what kind of water you're going to drink from now on.